everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, let's talk about potatoes. If you are new to my channel, then you might not know potatoes are one of my best friends. I love them. I love them so much that every couple of months I like to do a Mary's Mini. If you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, stay tuned until the end of the video. I'll give you kind of a little synopsis about a Mary's Mini. Plus I'll put all the information down in the description box below. But I do wanna add a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. No, this is not how I eat always. No, you do not have to eat this way. Yes, this is a little bit restrictive, but there is a reason and a purpose for it. So like I said, check out the links down in the description box below or stay tuned till the end of the video. Don't make a harsh judgment just based on a video that is extreme with potatoes. But <laughs> we have a lot of potatoes here and I actually have two more bags of these. So I have 40, yes, 40 pounds of potatoes for this week. I am doing a strict seven day Mary's mini. I have done one probably every couple of months since I went plant-based and I love them. I love potatoes. No, this is not hard for me. Like I said, I'll add more of what it is toward the end of this video. If you have no interest in doing a Mary's mini, don't worry. You can still use these recipes in your everyday life. These are recipes that I use all the time. But when it comes to a Mary's mini and if you are looking to do one in the new year, I hope that you find these recipes to be helpful and useful for you. So let's Without further ado, let's jump in. I have four recipes that I'm going to use for this week. I'm just gonna rotate them. There's no breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, etc. when it comes to how these meals are set up. I'm just gonna do four meals for the week. I'll prep half of my food today and then another half in about three or four days or whenever I run out. One other thing I wanna add real quick before we start with the recipes is there is no portions when it comes to my meals. I just eat when I'm hungry and stop when I'm full. I listen 100% to my hunger cues, especially when doing a Mary's Mini. So some days I might eat 10 pounds of potatoes. Yes, it's been known to happen before. And sometimes I might eat a little less. So I encourage you to do the same if you are looking into a Mary's Mini, but let's jump in to today's recipes. And if you're wondering, I have this question all the time, my husband will basically eat whatever I have on hand. So whatever meals are in the fridge, he will eat. He's not picky. He loves potatoes as much as I do. He can live on potatoes and green beans. Honestly, the man is so simple. So I will basically make all of this on repeat. We'll both eat it. It'll be in the fridge. I can warm it up. And then if I need more potatoes based on hunger, I'll just go back to the store and get more potatoes and greens. By the way, if you haven't clicked on a video of mine in a while, welcome to my new house. We just moved in a little over a week ago, but while my potatoes are kind of soaking, I find that if I soak them in a little bit of white vinegar, it gets all the dirt off really quickly, but I'm gonna turn my oven on. We're gonna need a second rack today because we have a lot of cooking to do. So I have my oven going to 425 degrees. I'm gonna do two sheet pan meals, some mashed potatoes, and some french fries. Now I don't currently have my air fryer here in my kitchen, but an air fryer is a huge component that I use when doing a Mary's Mini, because if you don't wanna make your food ahead of time, you can throw your potatoes in the air fryer, super easy peasy quick, lemon squeezy, and you have a perfect meal like right off the bat. I am meal prepping for the next few days because I have a very busy schedule this week and I think it's really, really easy to just pull a meal out of the fridge and go. If you stopped into today's video, you probably already know what a Mary's Mini is, but here is a little cheat sheet that I found on Pinterest. You can literally type into Google Mary's Mini cheat sheet and this will pop up. It's like the third image on Google Images. I would save this to your phone and if you decide to do a Mary's Mini into the new year or at any time, you have that little cheat sheet ready to go. If you've seen any of my others, Mary's minis, like little mini challenges I've done or potato resets. I'm not usually super strict when it comes to seasonings or condiments. Sometimes I add fruit, sometimes I even add multiple different kinds of potatoes, but I want to try a seven day strict. And so far I've been really enjoying it. I have my pots going back there because I'm going to do one for mashed potatoes and one for potato salad. If you're not new here, you know potato salad is like one of my favorite things of all time. Another thing I really like to do when I meal prep is get everything going in a rhythm so everything's kind of 
like finishing on time so you can start one thing and then the next and the next and then you can finish one thing and the next and the next and you can utilize your time in a really efficient way i like to think of meal prep kind of like a budget get the most bang for your buck spend an hour to an hour and 20 minutes total in the kitchen and get as much done as you can and this includes cleanup dishes prep cutting cooling you know everything that you can possibly do be really efficient when i film i'm not as efficient as when i'm not filming but i've come down to a method that i can actually utilize when filming to also decrease my time so i like to fill my oven first and i don't wait until my oven is obviously preheated because really it doesn't matter and then i like to get everything boiling on the stove so my stove items usually are done before my oven items but now that all that's going, I kind of have a timer set in the back of my mind based on when I started everything, but we're gonna start chopping some veggies and then once the water's boiling, we're gonna get those potatoes in and start with the next meal on our menu. I kind of hope for today's video, and instead of just kind of giving you a step-by-step -step on what I do, it would be more so encouraging and tips if you are looking to do a Mary's Mini. So one of the things I find is when you cook potatoes different ways, obviously it helps to with boredom. I love potatoes and I joke sometimes, you know, I could eat them all the time every single day. But let's be honest, after like three or four days of eating potatoes, if you're fixing them the same exact way, they're going to get boring. That's just how we are. We want variety in our lives. So cutting them a different shape, cooking them differently, adding different elements of vegetables that also have different textures are really, really helpful. And then it helps me from getting bored. Now I am the simplest person under the sun when it comes to my meals. You know, I have come a long way in the last year and a half since starting my channel. I joke that my seasoning drawer or cabinet, I should say, <laughs> is my most prized possession because I went from just being a salt and garlic girl to having like 15 seasonings and I'm so proud of myself. So again, with adding different elements and textures, it helps when you're doing a potato reset or a Mary's mini. And if you're not doing it for a taste bud reset and just for a weight loss, I would actually add a little bit more freedom into your elements, but that's completely up to you. I like to add the disclaimer that no, you don't have to follow anything to a T and you're going to hear me say that at the end, make this as what you want it to be. What do you want to get out of it? And then recreate what the challenge is to make it your own. So this is the potato salad. I did relish, banana peppers, celery, mustard, and red peppers. So good. It was I'm just a huge potato salad person. It could have anything in it with some cold potatoes and I'm a fan, but this was such a good potato salad. And I'm so happy I ended up making two huge batches of this for the week. I also decided to do some squash, which is one of my favorite veggies and some roasted onions and peppers and then also some roasted mushrooms because I think mushrooms and mashed potatoes just go so good together. Another thing is, is with the mashed potatoes, something I didn't do this round in this video that you're going to see, but you're going to see it in other videos that I've created is mashed potato fries that you make in the air fryer. You're going to save your mashed potatoes overnight and then you're going to slice them and then cook them in your air fryer. There's no oil needed. They're nice and crispy on the outside and nice and soft and gooey in the inside. I highly recommend those. Potato pancakes are really great. You can take mashed potatoes that are left over and make them into pancakes or waffles. There's so many different things you can do with potatoes that you definitely shouldn't get bored. Like I said, adding different textures is really, really helpful. Different cooking methods, instant pot, boiling or mashing, baking, roasting, anything you can find that's quick and easy. I personally like to prep a lot of my meals ahead of time and I'll talk about that here in a little bit, but it's just something that helps with me and my lifestyle. I'm super, super busy and I find that when I have things ready to go that I can just take them out of the fridge and eat them, it's perfection. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? All right, I'm about halfway through and I'm realizing I don't have enough potatoes, so I'm going to finish up what I'm doing and then crack into the other 20 pounds that I purchased because like I said, I do want enough meals for my husband and I for a couple of days and I feel like I always estimate the amount of potatoes I actually need. <laughs> 
for this type of meal plan. But I wanted to add really quickly is with a potato reset or a Mary's mini, it is based on two things. You can use it for a weight loss plateau or you can use it like with myself where I'm actually using it just for a taste bud reset. Now at the end, I will kind of talk about it a little bit more in giving a little bit of a disclaimer on doing what works best for you but I highly encourage you to do your research and I'm gonna keep saying that. I am not doing this for weight loss. I'm very happy with where my weight is. I'm working on my fitness a little bit. If you are not new to my channel, you know I love to work out, I love to run. I ran almost every single day for about three years. And to me, a lifestyle that you can live every single day that's not super extreme is where you should always want to be. Now I know this is extreme, I keep saying that, but it makes me feel really good at the end of a couple days. If you've ever thought about doing one, just do a Mary's Mini or a Potato Reset for one single day. And if you feel really good, go for two days. But don't ever feel like because you said you're gonna do seven, 10, or 14 days that you have to stick with it if it starts messing with you a little bit mentally. But I do want to say that cravings are 100% natural, so is getting sick of the food you're eating. That's why I find having lots of different vegetables plus different ways of eating the potato is the best way for myself to not have a lot of boredom after a few days. Now with a potato reset, you can obviously use any kind of potato, but with Mary's Mini, you're supposed to stick to one specific starch. Now the number one question I usually get when I do these types of videos is even though weight loss is not your goal, do you lose weight? Typically, yes, but I'm not expecting to ever lose any weight. Now I will say in the past, I actually think it's from inflammation based on the fact that I didn't know I had a gluten sensitivity until this October when I did some blood tests and worked with a professional to figure out some of my personal gut health. But again, that's not my goal. I am five foot nine in case you are wondering, and I typically weigh anywhere between about 142 and 146 pounds. I don't actually weigh myself anymore, but based on my clothing and how I look, I know that's what I weigh because I weighed that much for the last two and a half years and I know my body well enough that I know it hasn't changed. So hopefully that encouraged you a little bit. I always tell people that it doesn't matter how you eat or how I eat. We can both do the same types of workouts, the same type of eating plan, but we'll look differently because genetically we're different people. But of course, I like to encourage you with what I do based on what works for me in hopes to encourage and inspire you. And of course, I like to give you guys meal ideas if you are on a plant-based journey or just starting one. I did want to quickly let you know that tomorrow is the last day to snag my ebook on sale and forever because they are retiring. So check the description box for the details. Okay, I thought I would share with you really quickly how I'm putting these meals together. So I have a bunch of veggies here, but this won't be all I have for the next few days. I'll end up throwing some in in the next couple of nights just to kind of catch up. And then I did go ahead and make some boiled potatoes. These are for dinner tonight. Either you love boiled potatoes or you hate them. Let me know in the comments below. I love them. I think the texture is perfection. And then I'll have some veggies with that as well. So as far as meals go for the next couple of days, like I said, I am going to make more. I'm gonna spend some more time tonight making more. So my husband and I have a whole bunch. I'll make another 20 pounds of potatoes. I'm not sure how this is is like 20 pounds of potatoes, but it is. Okay, so I went and put them in little containers for meals. These are the mashed cauliflower, which are so good with mashed potatoes, so I'll kind of mix those in as a veggie, but I'm going to make some more veggies either tonight or tomorrow night, and then these are the potato salads, which are so good. I'm actually gonna make another batch of this. It's so good, but I do have a lot more veggies on hand. If you saw my grocery haul, I do have some stir fry veggies and some more cauliflower. I also have that broccoli and I have a ton of spinach. So I'm doing pretty good on veggies, just need more potatoes. So here's kind of what I have created. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. It's not like one thing is breakfast, one is lunch. It's just kind of like eat what you want until you're fill. And like I said, we have some veggies and some potatoes for dinner tonight. And that is what I made for my Mary's Mini. Okay, like I said, I was gonna end this video with just a little synopsis about what a Mary's Mini is. So it can be used for two things. I like to use it as a taste bud reset. I truly believe that is the best way to utilize a Mary's Mini 
However, if you are someone who is whole food, plant-based, no oil, follows the starch solution, you know all about the Mary's Mini, you can also use it to break through a weight loss plateau. Potatoes are super high starchy foods that I feel like the standard American diet is scared of because they use oils with their potatoes. But if you're just eating potatoes, it's such a good carbohydrate that can help aid in weight loss. Now, in the past for my Mary's Minis, I haven't done them as strict. And I highly encourage you, if you are doing a Mary's Mini, to know yourself and know your restrictions when it comes to food. Because when you remove a lot of food and become really restrict with your diet, a lot of bumps can happen in your road. Some people are not in that place where they can become really, really restrictive for a reset. So know where you are in your life and don't do a reset or Mary's mini if you're not ready for it. Plus you can always make adjustments. I will tell you in the past, I've done I think four or five Mary's minis in the last couple of months. I did one right before I went gluten-free and felt so good that I decided, you know what? It's after the holidays. Well, technically it's almost new year's, but I want to do another one and I want to feel really good coming into the new year. And I always do when I really clean up my diet. And yes, that means, that I restrict myself a little bit when it comes to seasonings and salt and condiments and even fruits and some vegetables, but you don't have to do that. I will link my playlist down below from my past Mary's minis and my potato resets, but you will see typically I didn't take out all seasonings. I didn't take out salts. I didn't take out even fruits. I made sure to still have fruits on those times, but this time I decided to do it seven days strict, but if later in this week I decide, you know what, I really want a banana or I really want a different starch, I will allow myself to have it. Really for me, this is just a way to kind of reset my taste buds. Coming off the holidays, yeah, I've had a few too many pieces of vegan, gluten-free junk food and I wanna feel good. I wanna feel set and ready for the new year and this is how I do it. So no, in no means am I telling you, hey, you should go seven days strict on a potato reset or a Mary's Mini, but if you're kind of feeling like, you know, I could use that little boost. We all know how we feel when we eat good, healthy food in comparison to more processed, vegan or gluten-free treats. So trust me when I say, you know yourself better than me. So you can set this plan up however you feel fit for yourself if you're interested in doing one. So like I said, the information is down below if you want to check it out and you can do whatever is best for you if you're doing a Mary's Mini and you can add or take away any elements that you would like. But I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I feel like you guys always really like when I do a Mary's Mini or a potato reset. If you're like me, you love potatoes and you no longer fear them as a food group because you know that they are great for you, they're healthy, and they can even aid in weight loss. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend celebrating the new year. I will see you Monday in a new video, so don't miss it. Make sure you're subscribed and turn that little notification bell on because in January, I'll be adding a few extra videos to my playlist for the month. So stay tuned. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.